Joining us to inject some sanity and facts into this discussion is attorney and writer Paul Ingracia. Paul, welcome back. Thank you so much for having me, Chanel. Paul, so this just seems so outlandish, the stuff that's coming out of Michigan. I know we've heard these numbers before. We've heard them in 2019. Is it possible that Michigan's voter rolls are still this far out of whack? Well, I, I believe it actually is accurate. And, you know, I apologize for the noise out there. But, yes, there there are, you know, in many cases, tens of thousands of unaccounted uh, you know, voters on these these um, election rolls. I mean, you, you look at a state like Pennsylvania, it's not just Michigan, Wisconsin who are dealing with issues, but a state like Pennsylvania, which is perhaps the most important right. state this, this cycle. Um, you know, there's a concern that there are tens of thousands of ineligible voters. Now, who might these ineligible voters be? That's that's really the question here. There's a case right now in the Third Circuit, and, um, you know, the RNC is doing its best, I, I believe, in terms of its legal team to expedite this before November 5th for a decision. But there's a potential that many of these illegal migrants that have crossed over the border over the past four years are part of these voter rolls. Now, you know, what what that number is, is basically not known to the public. And, and Josh Shapiro, the Democratic governor there, um, has not made those numbers known to the public. He has not disclosed his voter roll. So that is obviously a basis for this lawsuit and a huge point of uh, concern for Republicans in general. Because as you said, you know, this election could be decided by 40 or 50,000 votes between four or five uh, battleground st states. That was the case in 2016. It was also the case in 2020. Right. And, you know, if that is also true in in this cycle, um, you know, that could be a major issue. So we want to see transparency on part of Democratic governors, especially, uh, um, you know, a state like Florida, for example, uh, Ron DeSantis, to his credit, has done a lot to um, you know, shift the disproportion uh, imbalance between Republican and Democratic registered voters in that state um, over the past eight years or so. That has also been true in a certain respect in Georgia. Um, there's some inroads being made there. But um, again, it, it comes down to these Rust Belt states, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. And there are a lot of questions yet to be uh, answered regarding uh, the makeup of these voter rolls and why there are, you know, more, uh, you know, registered voters than 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 citizens in the state in certain respects. And we saw that in 2020. And it's definitely a concern here in 2024. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.